What is the most word that you say as a practicing Muslim on a daily basis? What do you think it is? Do you know what it is? For someone who prays his or her five daily prayers, for someone who does the adhkar, it is the word Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah is greater. Allah is the greatest. It is the most word that we repeat on a daily basis. Just in the salawat, 94 times, if we only pray the fard. And if you count 33 times after every salat, if you count, uh, count the 34 before we sleep, if you count uh, when we repeat after the mu'adhin, it will go above 300. And if you count the, the, the nawafil, the sunan, it will go above 400 times a day. We say, Allahu Akbar. طيب, second question. Is it possible that the word I say the most, I do not feel? Is Allah Akbar in my life? Is Allah Akbar in your life? Is it really? Subhanallah. What does Allah Akbar mean? For example, in the Salat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from His hikmah, from his wisdom. He made us repeat Allahu Akbar so many times. Why? Because we get so distracted in the Salat. Every time I'm praying and I'm about to go to the next Rukun, Allahu Akbar, I just got distracted. I start thinking about my job, about my, my family, about this, about that. And then it comes, Allahu Akbar, come back. You know, forget about what you're thinking about. Allah is greater than what you're thinking about. SubhanAllah. In general, Allah is Akbar. Allah is greater than any tyrant. Allah is greater than any oppressor. Allah is greater than anything that might distract you from Allah. SubhanAllah. Allah is greater from anything that might distract you from Allah Azza wa Jal. Or that might put a, a barrier between you and Allah Azza wa Jal. Like for someone who uh, applied for a job and they told him, oh, uh, we cannot give you Friday uh, off to go pray your, your Jumu'ah. He has to remember that Allah is Akbar from that job. Allah is the Razzaq. Allah, He will provide for me. If I give up something for Him, Allah will replace it with something much better. For sure, 100%, Allahu Akbar. Allah is Akbar to leave His pious, righteous slave in the times of hardship. Allah is greater than that. Allah will never leave his right abd, his righteous abd in, in situations when, Allah, when, when the abd needs Allah so much. Allah is akbar than that. Now, in, the, in this pandemic that we're going through, we have to remember that Allah is akbar from anyone and anything. And He is the one who have the cure. Allah has the cure because He is Al-Kabir. Allah is Akbar, Allahu Akbar is for him. My brothers and sisters who are going through so much hardship, so many troubles at home, maybe financial problems, maybe health issues, remember that Allah is Akbar. Allah is Akbar than all the situations that are around you. And when you have so much trust in him, he will get you out from sources you've never expected. And remember that Allah is always Akbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is akbar than the pandemic that's coming through right now. Corona did not come to kill us. Corona came to revive the dead hearts that are within us. Please keep that in mind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us understand Allahu Akbar. May Allah azza wa jal uh, increase us in iman. May Allah protect us all from any harm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, reward all our uh, men and uh, uh, women that are in the medical field. May Allah reward them immensely for the time that they are spending and the effort that they are putting to help others. Jazakumullah khair, wa barakallah feekum. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.